Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Virgo. I feel like for some of you right now, you're going to actually bring in more love by releasing your fears and inhibitions around love, like the the hesitation that you have when it comes to love or some of you, honestly, you know, people are always saying, I know it's so cliche, love will find you when you stop looking for it. If you're the type of person in your journey right now where you're afraid that you won't have love, holding on to that fear is actually pushing offers away and not maybe allowing them to come in as, as quickly, as easily, as smoothly as they should. I always think about the law of attraction. Some of you, if you're dealing with a person right now, you may want to detach from what the outcome will be. You know, I'm one of those people I feel strongly in any type of relationship you don't own or dictate or control another person. I do feel too, you're single until you're married. That's just how I, how I feel, you know? <laughs> like you, you're single until you're married. This trying to hold on the ball and chain, there's no need to do that. Um, so maybe if you release, you know, fear, anxiety, any kind of doubt, a lot of the control, it will allow more love to come in because apparently this wants to, first of all, allow you to just focus on loving yourself more. Some of you right now, you may want to tap more into your own creative projects. Um, we are in December. This is a great time for you to look at your vision boards, think about your goals, the things that you want to manifest, like um, work on decluttering, working on being more productive. Um, really, really allowing yourself to enhance your own life, you know, enhance and, and upgrade things that are in your life that you can control. Awakening, yeah. Some of you need to, re like I said, release the, the fear of losing out or whatever this may be, because the truth is, for some of you, you have a person that is becoming, um, Aware of your connection. Romance is here. Romance and awakening. Some of you, you have a twin flame or more soulmate. They are waking up to this connection, but you need to release the anxiety that you have that maybe they're not, they're not realizing who you are or they're not going to connect with you or there's not going to be progress or, oh my goodness, this may not turn into marriage. Like really allow yourself right now to just flow. So just open yourself up to good vibes, good energy, this healing energy that is presenting itself for the entire collective instead of being afraid that it's going to pass you by. You're on a very sacred journey right now and you're learning a lot of lessons. You already learned many lessons, but you need to really understand who you truly are. For some of you right now, it's like you need to make sure that you know who you are and allow other people who enter your life to also go through their own spiritual awakening and embrace their sacred journey so that they know who you are. Relationships work best between people who know who they are because not every person is going to stay on this journey with you as you begin to grow, heal, evolve, and most important, as you change. People, a lot of us who are very spiritual, you're constantly changing. It, it doesn't matter what kind of partnership, relationship, or marriage or commitment that you may get at, who, that per who they no, like who who they introduce, who you introduce them to when you first meet a person is not who you're always going to be. And not every person is willing to stay with you as you grow to learn more and more about yourself and your sacred journey. It takes you to meet a person that you're a vibrational match with who also understands that they're constantly changing. A lot of when it comes to love and relationships, it has a lot to do with tolerance and acceptance. Can you really tolerate this person and accept them for who they are, who they are today, who they are tomorrow, and actually have grace even when they tell you who they used to be? There's lessons here to, to learn, and some of you, you're still on this sacred journey of self-discovery and a lot of healing, and it's causing you to awaken, but you still have to release what doesn't serve you. And again, understand that everyone has their own personal free will. You can't force anything here. If you try to force a connection, all you're going to do is set yourself up for failure. You're going to be settling. 
And some of you right now, you're in denial about the fact that you are settling for something because you have not been as focused on your goals and your own self-worth. You are neglecting your own inner child, hoping right now to have some kind of relationship that's going to feed into your ego. So be careful with that. Yeah, a lot of you, your 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 biggest goal is romance. And this sacred journey that you're on is here to teach you more so about self-worth than about another person. Free will and ego. For some of you, you are for, you're dealing with some kind of counterpart because you have mirroring here. So it's like you and another person, you're you're both on this, this journey where you're learning a lot. And understanding, like, releasing the, the codependency, releasing even, like, the, it's like this lack of faith or this scarcity mindset or poverty mindset that, you know, oh, well, you know, I guess I'll just settle for this because I may not get anything better. Like, no, it's okay to, to wait on what's worth having. And you don't really have to wait. You manifest it. You work towards it. And you, you will get closer to the type of person that's best for you by simply healing. By being gentle with yourself, putting in the work, making sure that you find balance in your own life. Yeah. Clear, cleansing and clearing your energy. Some of you, you're stuck. Some of you, you're stuck in a third party situation or you're waiting on someone that's in a third party situation. Or you're telling yourself that you need to wait on a person to make you an offer. And you know that this person right now, they're stuck. Either they're giving you the silent treatment, they're in another relationship or whatever. And what Spirit is saying is that you need to release yourself from whatever this stuck, stagnant energy is. There's some kind of obstacle or challenge here that you need to release because I, I feel like a lot of you don't have to really deal with this. So let's see. Let's use this deck. So, I mean, it feels like there's actually something very promising coming in, either with the person that you're dealing with or you're going to meet someone new, five of swords, but you have to let go of feeling defeated. Some of you have been feeling defeated. You have the devil here. It's like you are obsessing over the idea that you may not have what you want. It's creating tension. It's like, just, just, just chill. The temperance is here. See? <laughs> Tempers, that's self-control, moderation. There's a need for you to find peace and, and balance and harmony. And this is for some of you learning how to do the counterintuitive. Some of you, you're, you're wanting to rush into a situation. I'm even getting some of you, you want to give a person an ultimatum. You know, you have to be with me or, or this or whatever the case. You don't have to do that. When you really find peace within yourself, and you understand that maybe you're going after certain people because of your abandonment wounds or rejection wounds or, or whatever it is. Finding this peace and balance within yourself is going to help you come out of any kind of denial. Or this is your person giving that other person the space or the, the time or whatever to actually see you clearly. But you have to see yourself first. And you have to make sure that this person can see themselves. I feel like there's still some kind of lessons here to be learned. The Knight of Wands. There's a brand new energy here. The Knight of Wands, it's like it's time for somebody to be very fearless, to take action because we have romance and big goals. The Five of Cups here. Somebody is still holding on to some type of grief, or sadness, or pain, or regret from the past. The Four of Cups, somebody could have been rejecting um, an offer because they are still dealing with some kind of depression or missed opportunity the inner child and lessons is here so somebody right now may not be feeling very happy you could want to make an offer to a person but the truth is they just aren't fully healed or this is you somebody is still grieving over a situation possibly yeah the four of cups and the five of cups definitely somebody is still dealing with their own inner child their own shadow the queen of pentacles is here 
I feel like you need to take a leap of faith to make sure that you're focusing on nurturing yourself, building your own wealth and success. Here's the Queen of Cups. This Queen of, of Pentacles, Queen of Cups is both out here, but you have the Ace of Cups. I feel like this the reason why this is here is because it has a lot to do with self-love. It's you really... Falling into this very, like, nurturing and emotionally strong energy. And a lot of people don't understand the strength that comes with being very vulnerable. This Five of Swords energy here, too. This could be a masculine right now that is feeling defeated by something in their life. There is some kind of stress or tension here. They can see your love. They can feel it. They recognize it, but that, that you can't force them to do anything. This person could be blinded right now because of some type of insecurity or lack of faith. With the settling here, this person could be having issues with their home, their finances, their foundation and stability. So I feel like this person, like there is love here, but again, right now, this person has some type of struggle that they, they themselves are working through, or this is you. Ace of Wands. Somebody is not in denial about the, the strength of this connection. And there's going to be an opportunity that's going to present itself. And it's going to bring about like a huge blessing and a lot of good news. Yeah, the King of Wands. King of Wands. I don't know if it's this new moon in Sagittarius, but I keep getting like the Temperance and the King of Wands. There's a very, very strong Sagittarian energy here. And it has like the last few readings, I keep getting... The Tempers and the King of Wands. And here's the Knight of Wands. And the Ace of Wands. Wow, well, this is a lot of fiery passion here. So, for some of you, you have a person like they... <laughs> some of you have a person who is a little bit obsessed with you. You're wondering or in denial whether or not this person likes you. This person, they love you. Queen of Cups, Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, King of Wands. With the tempers here, this person is, somebody is actually stressed out by how much they love you. Because they're going through a spiritual awakening. This person could even be afraid that you're going to release them. I feel like this person is about to embrace some kind of new opportunity. And it, I, I just feel like somebody has a lot on their plate. Like they, they're they embracing these new goals. They could be starting a new career, a new business, trying to really find their place in the world. And then there's romance here. So it's like everybody kind of gets to their point at some point. Like they want to pursue a connection with you. But this person is also really trying to learn themselves. They're still trying to work on their own self-worth and self-esteem and confidence, and they're getting more confidence by the way that they're about to show up in the world. This could be you and or this person. You both could be doing this because we do have mirroring out here. You and this person could be mirroring each other. So both of you are possibly about to go through a major transformation where you're showing up in the world in a different way. It's going to make you very confident, but what's happening is this is causing the two of you maybe to separate in a way because you're focusing on something. They're focusing on something. So it's the creating the illusion that you're you're separating. But what you're actually doing is you're actually healing and growing. You're becoming better separately, which is going to actually make you better if you are to be together. That's what I'm saying. You have to think short term and long term. Five of Cups, Ten of Wands. Yeah, somebody's still carrying a burden. Spreading themselves very thin. There's a lot of stress here. What is this stress about, I wonder? Somebody is very stressed out about a situation. Somebody's spiritual journey is stressing them out. <laughs> Somebody could be new, fairly new to their spiritual journey. They're stressed out because they're learning all these new things. You have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse, the Chariot in the reverse, the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, and then the Four of Wands. Upright. So, somebody here could be turning down 
an offer or an opportunity to move forward. And have equal give and take. For some of you, somebody is really, really struggling. The chariot in the verse, the six of pentacles in the verse, and the knight of pentacles. Somebody right now, it's like they're not receiving good news. They could be having issues with the car. They may not have the money for equal give and take, but the four of wands is here. They, they, they may see you as wish fulfillment, but they're, they're going through their own dark night of the soul. Let's see why it's the four of wands here. Some of you, though, you may be in this, the Queen of Pentacles, Four of Wands. You may have your own prosperity and abundance. The devil. The two of cups in reverse. That doesn't look good. That looks very like karmic. The world. Yeah. There's a karmic cycle being wrapped up here. The two of cups in the reverse. There is no, no balance in a connection. It's unrequited love. It's disagreements. It's conflicts. There is a breakup or separation here. Either this has happened in the past and you're still recovering from it. Or this person is. Or this is what you can expect. I feel like this for some of you is something that has already happened. Yeah, the death card in reverse and the king of cups. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio or you could have Scorpio in your chart for sure. But somebody here was afraid of some kind of change. And this person is very reckless, impulsive, emotionally detached, emotionally manipulative and unavailable. Is this the same? I mean, this is King of Cups. I don't think that this King of Cups. Somebody has Capricorn and Scorpio in their chart. Lots of Capricorn and Scorpio, actually. I don't feel like this is the same person as this King of Wands. This keeps coming up. It's two very distinctive energies. It's like you have a person that's still holding on to something from the past. That's a burden to them. And then you have somebody out here who rejected you. And now this person who rejected you because they refuse to give equal give and take they refuse to close out a cycle. They refuse to come towards you or whatever. They can't have any kind of victory or success or rewards with you. This is somebody, though, with the devil. They, they are definitely watching whatever this four of wands is that you have. There's a four of wands situation that is developing that's coming in for you once you learn this lesson. There's a lesson here about self-worth and value that you have to complete. You have to fully complete with this past person. Or for some of you, a current person. There's a person that's definitely going to come in that's going to be everything that you're looking for. But you have to get rid of this. There's an energy that's still attached to you that makes you question or fear love because you learn such a, a difficult lesson from this very emotionally unavailable, inconsistent, just rude, nasty person who was resistant to change. Somebody refused to, to make a, an offer. Somebody refused to give you like a relationship or something. Yeah, the seven of swords is here, but it's in the reverse. Somebody here, you caught somebody in the act. You caught, you caught or you will catch somebody here cheating. The hangman in the reverse. Yeah. The hangman in the reverse. This is something you can't come out of this. You're stuck. This somebody here, you're stuck. You may be stuck on a betrayal, 
that happened or somebody is stuck or even a person coming towards you or that you're dealing with, they could be having a very hard time with getting rid of, getting over a betrayal. This betrayal has is making it hard for somebody to focus or work. I feel like this is honestly somebody else who is very um, upset that they betrayed you. This person now, they're, they are finding it really, really hard to work on anything. The Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. This person is receiving karma. They're constantly paging swords in the reverse. All they're, they're constantly getting bad news. Like they can't seem to achieve goals or anything the nine of wands in the reverse this person they don't have any kind of resilience left because of the six of cups it's something that they did in the past the truth is out about what something what somebody did in the past and all they can expect is bad news three of wands and then here's a page of pentacles in the reverse seven of wands this person they like they want to fight <laughs> They're upset because they're constantly receiving bad news for something that they did in the past. The Hierophant could be a Taurus. Nine of Cups, somebody very greedy. Yeah, very greedy. This person is all about pleasure. Ten of Swords in the reverse. I feel like a lot of you, you're finally healing from this situation. This could have been a situation you went through when you were, you didn't have the same confidence or self-worth. This situation, this hurtful situation, it puts you onto this sacred journey, this new path. And now it's like you're finally about to have wish fulfillment. Four of pentacles in the reverse, but you have to let go completely of this person who is, is very jealous, envious, greedy possessive and this person they don't want to let you go look the emperor in the verse they don't want to let you go they want to keep abusing their power being very stubborn sending you this chaotic energy that's causing a lot of conflict yeah this person now they're they're worried they're stressed out because they know they never healed and so the sun is in the reverse there's no new beginning here this person just took over this reading. So this, this is a situation that really needs to be cleared out. You have the strength. You're going to have to find the strength to really let go of this. Per this person, they're not going to let go of you, but you're going to have to fully let go of them in order for, wow, the Page of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. That's all you have to do. When you find the inner strength and the confidence and the willpower and the strong determination to really heal from this past traumatic experience with this person who was a liar, a cheater, very deceptive, who refused to make you an offer. They didn't care about how great you were. That's going to allow you to finally become a vibrational match for a person who wants to make you a loyal, committed offer. In the Page of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles. This is definitely somebody coming in with a romantic offer that will go the distance. It's long term. It's something very beautiful. The King of Swords. And the King of Swords is a truth teller. The King of Swords, I always think of Archangel Michael. This is somebody who, they're a truth teller. They're going to tell you the truth. They're going to be logical. They're rational. Like They're disciplined. This is not the kind of person who can't control themselves. Whoever this past person is, they're a liar. They're a cheater. They don't have any type of discipline. You're dealing with somebody now who can see the truth. They are, Like this person, they know how to avoid a queen of wands in the reverse. You're dealing with somebody in the past who just had no self-control. Seven of cups in reverse. Yeah. This is a missed opportunity for somebody. And, and they're they're very upset about it. The Empress in the reverse. I feel like this person, they're stuck with this Queen of Wands, Empress in the reverse. And you have a King of Pentacles who's coming towards you with good news. 
It's his page of cups, ten of pentacles offer. This person wants to have a family, stability, security. Uh, they they want to have a legacy here. So the five of cups, the five of pentacles, I'm sorry, in reverse. This hardship that you've been going through, that's, that's about to be over. You're finally about to have healing, recovery, restoration, eight of swords here. You're getting out of this mental imprisonment here that has had you stuck, stagnant, mad, sad, depressed, or whatever. There's a new lover here. There's a new divine connection that's coming in. And you may for a long time, eight of cups in the verse have been... Um, uncertain about which path to take because whoever this past person is they're so manipulative like this is a master manipulator who has been able to honestly play on you know low self-esteem or your control issues or whatever and at times you may have been willing to settle for this person because you had not allowed yourself to see that there was actually someone out there that could bring you real love and encourage you to have self-love um for your that will lead to you having an actual healthy partnership and relationship. But now it's like the justice is here and the three of swords in the reverse. The scales are being balanced. Now you're overcoming whatever this heartbreak is. There's no more sorrow. You're finally mending your broken heart. And so what's going to happen now is things are going to move very quickly. When you decide to stand your ground and no longer allow this conflict to come in from this person. Yeah, you're going to have to use your wisdom, making a wise decision here to move away from this person who is very unstable, who cannot, somebody just cannot make you happy. They can't bring you stability, the good, happy home life or family that you want. Your new beginning, victory and success is in a new connection. Yep, the moon. Things aren't what they appear to be. You need to embrace the unknown, I feel. And then a magician in the reverse. Yeah. Somebody is abusing their, pow their power. They're trying to confuse you so that you'll be stuck at a crossroads constantly. Wondering if you should wait on this person or go back to them. No. Or, you know, or you could be dealing with somebody right now and they're trying to convince you that they're a good person and... Your intuition is probably screaming at you that they're not. I feel like somebody here, especially now with Mercury Retrograde being here, it's like you you know that something is not good for you. And it's really time for you to move away from it because like the real deal is here. And some of you, you are going to find yourself in a connection with somebody. Well, I look at their romance and wedding with somebody. They've been through, they've been on a sacred healing journey just like you. Where they, you know, have probably settled for like a, a karmic person or whatever. But some of you, like you, you're going towards a new romantic offer that's going to lead to marriage. It says your dating life is about to get exciting. Enjoy the company of your special someone or potential partners. That's so cute. Some of you, you're going to be somebody's plus one. I'm hearing somebody say my forever plus one. So somebody is excited about taking you out and you being their plus one. Like they're excited when you have this idiot here, you know, in the past, most likely they would act like you couldn't go anywhere. They didn't want to take you out. They didn't want to have any type of courtship or relationship. Now they're stuck with this empress in the reverse, their baby mama, wife, or whoever, and they're upset. It's not your fault. <laughs> Fantasy. And then words of affirmation. So this fantasy card here, yeah, it says fantasies are great until we have to face reality. Be sure you're accepting things for what they truly are. For a lot of you, again, there's some kind of illusion here with that moon energy. Somebody knows how to tell you and say things with words of affirmation here. They know how to express things to you through text or their words or whatever. But are you truly feeling affirmed by what their by their actions? Is what you need to ask yourself because there is a fantasy or an illusion here. 
Neptune went direct in Pisces. The illusion should be shattered. At this point, for some of you, you're, you're still stuck in an illusion because somebody literally is sending some type of energy towards you or being very manipulative. They could even be going as far as to be doing some kind of moon magic to convince you that like there's some type of good choice for, for you as or not. Proposal. Yeah, there is an illusion that's being... This is really a heavy energy. Somebody is really trying to create the illusion that they're a good fit for you. And this is only because you have someone in your life right now who is ready to take your connection to the next level. Like somebody is thinking about marriage. Like they know how to express their true feelings to you. They're letting you know the types of, you know, opportunities that they want. They're, they're not afraid to tell you that they love you. Somebody is willing now to be vulnerable with you and tell you that they love you. Somebody now is trying to create a fantasy or an illusion so that it can, they can stir up some kind of old feelings within you. Because you and someone now are about to go take your relationship to the next level. So this person's in the background because they want you and someone to be at odds with one another. You, you don't need to give this person any of your, your attention. Yeah. There was always timing issues with this past person. That it for them it was never the right time. It always is like, oh, it's the perfect person, but it's not the right time. And now you've met your other half. You've met your your spiritual other half. You and this person both are on a sacred journey. And you're a reflection of one another. Yeah, this is your happily ever after. So please just keep this person. If somebody you need to keep out of your energy. This could be an ex-lover for some of you. It could even be a friend or family member. Somebody is trying very hard to project some type of energy onto you to make you feel like you're not really growing or you're not achieving anything or you're not really worthy of love. But there is somebody either in your life currently or coming back into your life or about to enter your life who is not in denial about the fact that they love you and want to be with you at all. But somebody is seeing this connection unfold and turn into something very beautiful and they're trying very hard to send some type of chaotic, nasty energy towards you so that you will question or doubt this person's love that is, I feel like, proving to you that like they're, yeah, they're, they're devoted to you. Oh, they're so sweet. The best part, this person's like the best part of your day. They're the best part of your life. Like, this is your best connection. Because this person is truly devoted to you. The intimacy, the deep intimacy that you have with this person is bringing you freedom and a beautiful harvest. So stop allowing the past to dictate and control. You have a person from your past that is always a third party. They're always an interference. This person is possibly coming into your dreams trying to interfere with your overall just peace and happiness. Yeah, look. Watch out. You need to watch out because literally this is a warning message. You have somebody who is very envious and jealous of your connection because you are in a connection with someone now who speaks and knows your love language that they want to start a new chapter with you and you're their main attraction. There's a lot of exciting news. You and someone are each other's safe place. Both of you are forgiving and healing yourselves, your past. And yeah, there's exciting news. You and someone maybe take your relationship to the next level. You could be traveling to different events together. Like I said, you may be this person's plus one or they're your plus one. You could be moving in with this person. It could be the birth of a child. You're learning and understanding each other's love languages. Like you and this person, you know how to meet each other's needs. You are each other's safe place. You can let your guard down with this person and be truly just vulnerable with them. This is a new chapter. This is the kind of love that many of you, you haven't experienced for a long time because it's be very honest. You've been in denial about who you thought your person was and you've been settling for their bare minimum. Somebody here is very much willing to make you their main attraction. Like they're very, very much into you. They, they can't keep their eyes off of you. You're the center of their attention. They're, they don't want anybody else. There's no third parties or anything. So you have these old memories of when you were somebody third party or they kept dealing with third parties. That is creeping in and it's, it's causing you to almost fear something very good for you. This is some kind of tra tra like trauma 
that you really need to work on healing. This has been coming up for a long time. But the reason why it's coming up is because honestly, for some of you, somebody is so jealous and envious of you moving forward. And they're so like dead set on, on staying attached to you that they're sending this negative energy towards you. Like somebody, this for some, they're doing spell work where they're trying to constantly aggravate this old wound that you have from being like rejected or cheated on or something. But I feel a lot of you have somebody in your life or coming into your life, they, to be honest, it, it looks like they're the one. They're your spiritual other half. They're the one. They want marriage. They want all the things that you want. And a lot of you now, the warfare is so, so heavy because you're at a checkpoint. You and this person are about to start talking. You're having conversations about happily ever after. Proposal. This person is thinking now about taking things to the next level. That's the reason why now a person is trying so hard to creep in and make you think that, hey, this may not be the right thing for you to do. And this could be a friend, family member, or an ex. But it's like somebody can just smell the happiness that's coming. And they're trying to sabotage it. So be careful. I think that that's why the very first card before our first card in this reading was the release card. You need to release the fear and the anxiety that you have about a person doing you wrong, lying to you, cheating on you. You have that anxiety because you have a really nasty person that's still in your energy. Yeah, you could be overthinking. You're overthinking and somebody is sending this, like the... Um, this fearful energy to you, or you're just, honestly, you're just afraid. I don't want to always say, oh, somebody is doing it. You're doing it to yourself too, because you're allowing yourself to operate out of fear. But this fear is causing you to either hold back or, it's, or your person could be experiencing this, where they are overthinking this situation and it's causing you and another person to really keep holding back from each from one another and taking the relationship to the next level yeah but somebody is extremely attracted to you you're their main character like somebody thinks about you non-stop but they're overthinking and they're holding back but within a few months something is going to change yeah somebody is keeping a secret and wearing a mask inner child here making plans moving forward someone has a lot to say and then fresh starts. Like I said, somebody is wearing a mask. They're cloaking themselves. They think about you nonstop. They have some secrets here. This is somebody who is also trying to make you think a lot about your own like inner child wounds and healing. So that you won't embrace this new start. Yeah, you have two people in your energy, at least two. You have two options, but somebody is deceptive. There's a very deceptive person in your energy. This person is lying. They're deceptive. They're cheating. They haven't healed or anything, and they're trying to make you think that you haven't healed. This person does not want you to see that you have a past life connection here that's going to lead to you having a very happy, harmonious life, like building a home, having a, a family, having children for some of you. With somebody. They don't want you to see that. They keep getting in your energy trying to disturb your peace. Yeah, but this love is forbidden. You're forbidden from this person. They're forbidden from you. <laughs> Wrong timing. Divine masculine. I am sorry. And then trust in divine timing. Trust the process. Somebody is ruled by ego. I feel like for some of you, you have a... Yeah, here it is. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you so much. You have a divine masculine who's going through the um, a dark night of the, of the soul. They're facing their own fears right now. And this person... They're saying that they're sorry because maybe they're saying like it's the wrong time. But this is within a few months, this person is going to come to you and confess that like 
they're really in love with you. They understand the connection. They want this to go to the next level and everything, but they are going through a dark night of the soul. On the other hand, though, you have a person who is very deceptive. This person, they're in a third party with someone else. They have their eyes on you and several other people, but this person is constantly watching your commitment. You also could have a divine masculine who has a third party, someone from their past, who is still holding on. It just feels like for some of you, you're going into a very beautiful divine connection, but you both have, you and whoever you're connected with, you have a very clingy, toxic person from your past, whether it's a friend, family member, or an ex-lover. These people are projecting some kind of low vibrational, chaotic energy during this Mercury retrograde, and I would suggest... <laughs> that you really, really um, protect yourself energetically because they're trying to stir up these old feelings and emotional um, wounding, like wounds that you have so that you will think back to the past and maybe revisit it. What people tend to do is they want you to think about the past enough to want to maybe reach out to get some type of closure. You don't need closure. You've already made a decision to move forward. And they know that it's the best decision for you moving forward, and you do too. But they're constantly trying to confuse you so that you will just stay stuck and stagnant. So don't fall for this.